Greetings. Welcome to EDTV News Channel, the People's Channel. In this report, we have a few stories for talk about coming out of the nation capital, Kingston. The Garden Parish of Jamaica, St. Anne, Westmoreland, and Clarendon. Stay tuned for the full reports. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers. If you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. So we'll start off in the parish of Clarendon, where an ex JDF soldier who now operates a shop was fatally shot last night in the parish. So we'll get into the report. A 52-year-old shop operator was shot and taken out during an attempted robbery at his business place in Chapleton, Clarendon last night. The deceased has since been identified as Conroy Anthony Osbird, a resident of Summerfield near Chapleton in the parish. Reports are that about 10 p.m. At the intersection of Summerfield Main Road and Public Works Main Road, Asburn was operating his regular weekend fish sale business when he was pounced upon by two men armed with handguns traveling in a grey Toyota Pro box. The gunmen reportedly attempted to rob Asburn of his cash. When their demand was not met, they opened gunfire hitting him in the upper body before making their escape in the said motor car, report said. Asburn was taken to the Chapleton Hospital where he was pronounced, you know what. Friday night's incident took place just a few meters from where four men were taken out in a bar on October 4th last year. Asburn was an ex-JDF soldier who served in the Jamaica Defense Force for several years. An investigation has been launched into his drop out. Now, we'll move on, people. This time to the Garden Parish of Jamaica, St. Anne, where a music producer was gone down at his home. So we'll get into the police report. A music producer who was shot and injured at his home in Great Pond, Otoraya, St. Anne's, Friday afternoon, succumbs to his injuries last night. A woman who was at the house escaped injuries. The man, identified as 19-year-old Malachi James, was shot and taken out by a gunman who entered his home through a rear door that was left open, the police said. Reports are that around midday, James and a woman were inside the master bedroom of a two-story dwelling house when a man entered through a door left open at the rear. The man, the police said, pointed the gun at the woman and pressed the trigger, but nothing happened. The gunman then fired several shots, hitting James all over his body. The woman flung a glass table at the gunman and he ran from the house. James was rushed to the Sentence Bay Hospital where he was treated and admitted in serious condition. Around 7.45 p.m., he succumbed to his injuries. No motive has yet been established for the gun attack. No people still in the parish of St. Anne. Business woman shot six times. So we'll get into the report. A 44-year-old business woman miraculously survived after she was shot six times by a gunman at the bar she operates at Phoenix, Park in Manique Sentence Friday night. The woman has since been hospitalized while police have launched a manhunt for her attackers. Reports reaching the news media are that around 8 p.m., the now injured woman was at the bar with three customers when a motor car drove up and parked across from the established men. Two men exited the vehicle, entered the bar and ordered two drinks. The woman placed the drinks on the counter, after which one of the men pulled a handgun and shot her several times. She received gunshot wounds to both breasts, her abdomen, both arms and right thigh. The woman ran from her attackers and collapsed in bushes behind the bar. The men, the police said, ran from the bar, returned to their vehicle, and sped away. The injured businesswoman was rushed to the Sentence Bay Hospital where she was admitted in serious condition. No motive has yet been established for the gun attack, police said. Now, people, we'll move on. We're still in the parish of St. Anne. Man survives two gun attacks 
in the parish less than 24 hours. So we'll get into the report. A man cheated drop out twice after escaping with his life from two separate gun attacks in less than 24 hours in St. Anne's. The man was first shot and injured around 11 on Thursday night and was again attacked by gunmen on Friday afternoon but escaped injuries, the police said. In the second incident, it was reported that around 1 p.m., the man was traveling in a taxi when he observed a white Toyota Axio motor car trailing the cab. He reportedly alerted the driver who slowed down. The Axio drove past and blocked the taxi's path. The man, the police said, immediately jumped from the car and fled. Two men exited the Axio with guns and gave chase while firing several shots at him. He managed to jump a perimeter wall and escape injuries. The gunmen returned to their motor vehicle and drove away, the police said. Now, people, we are moving on, this time to the nation capital. So we are getting into the report. Man taken out after responding to phone call. A man is dropped out after what residents of Craigtown in Kingston believe was an act of false pretense by his killers. The residents are alleging that the pretenders used a telephone number assigned to someone he knew to lure him to his dropout on Wednesday about 9.20 p.m. According to the police, 27-year-old Shamar Simit, otherwise called Edley, of Madden Street address received a telephone call and responded. He allegedly traveled to Studio One Boulevard, which was close to where he lived. Further reports from the Alfred Tree Criminal Investigation Branch, CIB, are that after Simit responded to the call, he parked his motorcycle along the roadway when he was pounced upon by unknown assailants who opened gunfire at him. Resident heard the explosion and summoned the police who assisted Simit to the hospital where he dropped out while being treated. The police said no motive has yet been established for the dropout and their probe is ongoing. Now, people, last but not least, and this is just a very sad, sad story. Father, 14 year old daughter among three taken out in a horrific car crash in Westmoreland. So we are getting into the report. A father and his 14 year old daughter are among three people taken out in a major motor vehicle crash in Little London, Westmoreland on Friday night. According to the police, the accident happened around 9 40 pm along Bay Road in the parish. It left six people hospitalized with injuries. The deceased has since been identified as 48-year-old Alwine Sorario, a welder of friendship, and his daughter Shanique Sorario of Strawberry District and 43-year-old Owen Barnes of Good Hope, all in Westmoreland. The teenager was reportedly a student at the Godfrey Stewart High school. The police have reported that a ice motor truck heading in the direction of Negril and a Toyota Corolla motor car traveling in the opposite direction towards Savalamar collided, causing the traffic and the accident to be very, very horrific. It is reported that the ice truck, after negotiating a corner, failed to keep left and crash into the Corolla. Acting Zone 4 Commander for the Westmoreland Police Division, Inspector Kaya Williams confirmed the details on Saturday morning. Six men in the ice were said to have been on their way to catch crabs. The news media understand that both drivers dropped out on the scene. Very, very, very sad story. So there you have it, people. Please leave your comments in the comment section and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good. Blessings.